I'm doing that for the camera. You doing we, this for we the camera? We don't shake cameras. We, we never shake hey, cameras. Hey, Mike. Hi, how's it going, Frank? How are you doing today, this Great. Saturday? Over, it's, it's Saturday at the shop. Saturday Nobody's the shop. here but Michael and I. You guys, <laughs> this is a great video because it's twofold. Um, first of all, we're gonna try and make it short for you guys and just pack it full of information. But um, we're gonna give you one, like a two minute rundown of the basics of suspension if you're new to overlanding, just getting into this. But for you more advanced guys, we're gonna tell you how to really dial in your suspension if you've gone beyond um, just buying a kit. Kits are great, they get you to 80%. Frank, tell us the basics of suspension. Well, the basics, the basics there, your springs hold your rig up on all four corners. Springs hold it up. That's what they do. Shocks dampen it when it goes over bumps. Right. And that's it. It's really, really basic. You yep. know, it's, so if you guys, if you've been watching the channel for a little while, you guys have seen on my trip videos, sometimes you'll see, you know, a year ago or so, I mean, you, my Slam truck would down. just bounce. And in fact, I was in the truck with Miguel one time, we were at Expedition Weight. I knew I didn't have decent shocks. I was on a residential road. I fully compressed the springs and I dreaded the next 30 seconds. Because you went airborne. I went airborne. <laughs> It came, because I just launched because my springs didn't damp or my shocks didn't dampen the springs. The truck came down like this. I cracked the windshield. The windshield went. <laughs> now, to my credit, the rig was fine and no cargo anywhere. I it was, was like totally Duke, Duke's a hazard. Okay, so that's the basics of suspension. That's the basics. Springs keep you up off the ground. Shocks dampen. Dampen. Okay. Now, now a three-step process. Three-step process. Now, so. First, you want to get to your expedition weight, like you talked about. So you want to weigh yep. down the truck like you're going on your trip, like you would normally drive that truck. And if you right. normally are off-road, like Michael is, we load it the way it's going to be right. when off-road. Now, I want to say, you guys, you have, if you have 24 to 50 gallons of fuel, the weight dynamics of your truck is going to change significantly. And depending on your passengers, it's going to change significantly. Right. So no, you know... If you go out to the parking lot and you're like, I'm leaning this way a little bit, my stock fuel tank is on that side of the truck. If it's filled with 24 gallons of fuel, multiply that times seven, that's a lot of weight on that side of the truck. Keep that in mind. And your water. <laughs> and your water and everything else. Yeah, and everything passenger. else. But anyway, so if you have a dual purpose truck, you need to really decide what are you doing, the, doing it mostly for, in which case you may want to not go with custom springs, go with airbags or something like that, you know, so that you can do the dual purpose thing. Right, so, so you dial in, airbags allow you to right. dial things in. But we noticed that airbags right. don't last in a rigorous off-road condition. Yeah, <laughs> I've gone through them. We, yes. we, we found that out, yep. so. Um, so the best thing to do is load up your truck. Next step, weigh all four corners of your truck. Not the whole truck. Not the whole truck. It, it, the whole truck's gonna weigh something, right. right. But uh, as far as gross vehicle weight and your brakes go, you want to know how much the whole truck weighs. For springs, spring rate, and stuff like that, you want to know what each wheel weighs. And then we do the math. We call up Deaver Springs, and we have springs made. Right. So make your springs. Now, um, working with Frank, Frank has done this a number of times. Um, and I've also talked to other folks that, that actually work in NASCAR, a totally different application. But if you want your suspension to go to the next level, then consider actually having your springs made because when you get your springs made, I can also have a conversation with Frank that sounds like, hey Frank, I want it to be super cushy and soft and I don't care if I bounce. Right. Or I want that thing to be rock solid, right. you know, because this is the kind of driving I do, right? And then nowadays, now with the Kings, we now have, a, we can adjust that. Yeah. And so, so the, the dampening on the Kings, you can adjust. And the new thing is two-way adjustable, which we can get into another video. <laughs> where you can, you can get your different rates. Not to mention there are compound springs, single springs. There's all these different springs. A spring isn't a spring. Yep. There are many, many different kinds of springs and the way that they're made are, are completely different depending on the use of the vehicle. Right. So three-step process for you guys. Decide how you're going to use your vehicle. 
um, and then weigh it down accordingly, your expedition weight. If you always have the same passengers, great. You can consider that weight. Yep. Second, we're gonna weigh all four corners. Weigh all four corners. Third. Would you do the math? We do the math. Get your springs made. Uh, the math consists of what were the original springs made for? Uh, what weight were they capable of? Yep. And then it's a matter of plus and minus uh, with Deaver finding out what, what our target weight is. Let's, now, is it, is it always kind of a crapshoot? It is always kind of a crapshoot. You can't be 100%. Right. But you can get damn close. We, we haven't sent any springs back yet. Yep. <laughs> so you'll, you'll get, you'll get, you'll get to that. You know, if, if, uh, if a, uh, spring kit will get you to 70 to 80%, then having your springs made will get you to 90 to 95%. So, but there's always variance. So how many people have been at a trophy truck pit crew stop? I have. When they're testing out their truck, you will see boxes of springs. Yep. Boxes of springs and shocks. What they do is they bolt on until they get the right combination, and then they, you know, then they right. run it. Let's talk about an extreme. <laughs> let's let's talk about an extreme case. This one over here. So this is our friend Parnell. You guys, Parnell is a very close friend. He's really been um, uh, instrumental in the design of a lot of the Overland Bound rig components. Go and check out these videos. These are his springs. So these are either these are shocks. How you're holding that there? For oh the, yeah, for yeah. The cam, for, oh, oh yeah, for the for camera. The king, you know, <laughs> that says king right there. Yeah. <laughs> these are huge. So these yeah. are these are these wouldn't even fit anywhere near Michael's truck. How much does that van weigh? <laughs> what is our target weight? <laughs> that's a that's an E350. Yeah. And our target weight is 1,500 pounds over that. Right. <laughs> so what is the? But so we're not going to quote the actual weight then. We just don't want it out there. Parnell, yeah, we, Parnell thinks it's going to weigh somewhere around 10 to 11,000 pounds. Okay. So but I'm, we I'm don't at know. 73, <laughs> I'm at 73, 74, and we paid a lot of attention to keep it at that, you know, right. at that weight. So he's at 11,000 pounds, right. um, large tires. He needs a lot of dampening. It, we call this the King Carly. This is Carly suspension with King shocks on an E350 van, which they don't make a kit for it. So, right. So Parnell's actually at home right now machining the rear shock mounts for this. Right. <laughs> right. Which will add weight. Yep. <laughs> so when you start weighing your truck down, you start getting into those higher figures. Um, you need a lot of spring again, like Frank said, to keep it off the ground. But what that means is that those springs are really, really firm. So then you need a lot of shock. Now this is, this is a, we didn't, his springs, I was talking about there's different kinds of springs. The springs that came on this E350 van were made to carry a load all the time on, on the road, like on the highway. Yeah. It was a compound pack of springs um, in a very flat, you want to hold that? In, in, a very, in a very flat configuration. So a spring that is flat with compound springs can hold a lot of weight and is pretty stiff. This is now an overlanding rig. So we changed from a compound spring. All the leaves on this spring are all long and it's in a big arc. Yep. So it can articulate quite a bit more than the original springs. Got it. So got it. That's just a spring difference. <laughs> Bypass for cooling. You're going down the road. <laughs> you will run, you will destroy the a, a shock. You'll destroy a seal because of the heat. So this is for, this is for cooling. All right. Hey, Frank, that is. A really good rundown, you guys. Frank, Top Shop Auto Lafayette. If you happen to be in the Bay Area, California, give him a call. He'll help you out. We're here. Um, on my on my truck, we just uh, we finished putting in the the King shocks, and then we just got bump limit stops. straps and bump stops right. for it. So the bump stops means it will never slam down on a hard rubber stop. It, it has a hydraulic bump stop. That Corey will thank me for that. <laughs> And um, the limit straps make sure the shock stops, or the suspension yeah. stops just short of the um, Full shock travel. fully fully extending to protect the kings. Kings are it's, very expensive. You want to protect them. It saves this part right here. Yeah. Cool. All right. Okay. Good rundown. Good. I'll see you Off in the about trail. two days. Yeah. <laughs> Off to the trail. I'm hitting the mountains. See you in about two days when I break it. That's right. All right. You guys. Thank you for watching. Thanks for joining us. Until Take, next time, Outfit. Take care. And Is this little buddy going to make it? Oh, yeah. <laughs>
Ha, ha, ha.